And we're back. Hello and welcome once again, my friends. I'm so happy to be back with you, and I'm so glad you decided to drop by. It's been a minute for me. Um, not so much for you guys. Kept a, a steady stream of videos popping up for you there. Uh, but I have been on vacation, and it was wonderful. Um, while I was doing that, of course, I was... Uh, not thinking much at all about YouTube. In fact, I didn't even really have, you know, I typically don't have a Twitter through my phone or anything like that. So, you know, no tweets coming out for all that stuff. Just kind of stepped away and reset. And it's going to be a bit of a catch-up episode here as we figure out what's going on. Now, I know we left this here because there was something that we wanted to do. I believe it's getting levels to... Uh, finish up this shovel. Does that sound right to everybody? These are just our tools. They're all good, I believe. Let's just take the minute to reset. Everybody who's not familiar, so we have uh, gotten most of our diamond gear and done a bunch of enchanting and stuff like that recently. As you can see, we got wings, um, a backup bow. This one we've repaired a few times. Um, a number of silk touch picks, a number of fortune tools uh, to be used. We have a wither, wither, skelly specific sword. And then we have a uh, enderman farming sword, which doesn't have the fire or knockback on it. And then just our regular everyday sword. So that's why we left this in place. We uh, were just buying books and, and kind of doing a bunch of stuff around here in our last episode and wanted to get uh, get a spare shovel set up uh, that will you know give us give us enough tools that we can kind of go out and, and confidently and comfortably uh, work around the world it does look like we're a little bit hungry and I don't remember exactly what uh, looks like it's about midday okay what our sleep schedule was. Um, <clears throat> one thing I do want to do before we head on over there is wait and do a sleep, right? And we learned that lesson the hard way. If we... We'll do... Um, let's just go ahead and make a new one. thinking while we're really just getting caught back up, saying hi to each other, catching up on old times. Hope everybody's been awesome while I was away. Um, well, while we're doing that, I'm going to uh, go get some wool. Why not? Right? It's a good thing we don't have a big surplus of it. And, <clears throat> excuse me, now that we have uh, stores in place, or storage in place to put all that wool. We can get any of the colors and um, just enjoy having it all around. So we got a couple of our free range cows there. We got our mountainside sheep, which are always difficult to deal with. Um, I, I am gonna struggle briefly. Where was that wolf all the time that we were, like, looking around trying to get dogs? Uh, so... As many of you guys know, I'm sure you guys are more current with it than I am, having been watching videos day to day here. So kind of our, our next project that we're in the midst of working on, and all, all this is you know set up to help us long term in the game, but it certainly will help us uh, very much for our next project as we get these enchanted tools, more tools, more shulkers for storage and all that. Um, all those things are going to be really helpful. Uh, when we have everything in place, it, I expect that may start this after or this uh, this 
very episode, then we're going to, I think, start tunneling in a new direction, kind of as we did back for the diamond mines. And the reason is expanding our basement was good. Uh, we needed to do that for the storage and everything, but as you all probably were painfully aware, we were spending most, if not all, of our uh, gathered resources just on finishing up the basement. It wasn't all, but it felt like it at times. It didn't feel very efficient. Now, we do have a bunch more stone than we started out with, uh, but not as much of the cobbled deep slate as we had initially planned. And that's something we need to just keep working on to get get everything squared away and set. So this is this is good. Now let's get back over to base because we want to sleep in the placed bed. I, you know, if we camp out outside and then pick up the bed, we're no better off, and we're going to be doing that hike from spot again. We don't want to do that. Uh, at some point, we'll probably try to link a Nether portal, but. It's kind of a luxury, and I'd just prefer to not end up back at spawn, if at all possible, instead of wasting time right now setting all that up and fighting our way through the nether and all that good stuff. Okay, so we have a no spare one of those. I think we just had wool laying around. Extra egg, some slimes. And that's good. All right, so now a quick trip to the end. Sip of coffee. Where uh, we'll rack up a bunch of levels, about 25 or so, um, to be able to finish up the show. It should do it. Um, oh, yeah. Nope. Oh, yep. This way. Got it. Wait. Uh, this? No. Over here. Oh, my goodness. What are you doing, dude? Hey, we got a couple. All right. Now, let's try to go the right way. Like I said, it's been a minute. It's amazing how quickly you um, kind of lose just that flow that you've been in. So, again, going back to earlier episodes, today's number one priority is don't die. Uh, while I'm a little rusty... Um, I'm going to try to be cautious, respectful. Alright, don't look at the Endermen until we're in the little... Hangouts. So many pearls. All right, are we ready? Let's get this going. There's those two, that one, that one. Still got to lower this. If nothing else, it, we have to walk up too much to get them in our sight line. We got over here. Out of the way. They must be too far. So here we are back at the Enderman Chopping Station.
Uh, so I think we were talking about, I, I don't think I finished the thought, though, that we need to also spend some time setting up cookers. Um, and, of course, in the process, if we do a, a tunnel, like a diamond mine tunnel, where we're just not finishing anything, just going out, grab, bringing back all the stone and materials we encounter, that should help us out a lot. And it should give us another hefty boost of coal, especially now that we're uh, bringing those back and harvesting them as uh, fortune coal. So, get everybody... Uh, gathered up, fuel up a number of uh, self-loading ovens, and cook up our our stone into smooth stone. And the good news is, with silk touch, the in the last one we really didn't have the silk touch, so we were doing a lot of cooking of our cobble into stone, and then cooking it into smooth stone. So this will save us one of those operations. And what we won't have to do is like double feed the ovens where we, you know, run cobble through through the cooker and then immediately uh, hopper it out of those ovens and into another set to cook again. We don't have to do any of that because we've already got it as stone. All right, now while we're waiting, let's go back over here and work to improve this side. Hopefully this will spawn up a few more of these guys. So we just want to keep on uh, working on this hill. Like I said, we have to walk up so close even to see their faces on the side when they're standing up there that it uh, makes any that we've already looked at all swarm over to that side. I can't see them anyway. So by dropping all this, we can stand at the back edge and have them grouped and angry behind us look straight through. So that's the thinking here at least. And we get more in stone which, since we don't have a ton of it, is a nice thing. Do three through here, just kind of define on this level, and then uh, maybe the next time that we do both sides, we'll come back and uh, fill out this this little area. Oh, man, oh man, are there a lot? All right, don't die. Run, run. That was a good little pull. See, now this is what I mean now. We can't see all their heads.
All right, this is a pretty good crew. Uh, let's try to get them all in here, make full use of our sweeping edge. Very nice. spawned up if any it seemed to be a pretty good timed cycle where we eh, maybe not so much over here though come on get out of the way out of the way Seems quiet. Alright, looks like we got more over this side again, which is good. this removed, we should be able to see more of them easily. That's the idea, anyway. That's going to be good. Alright. Let's gather up these couple things. I'd rather have those than the pearls. Hopefully, see? Oh, I did forget the noise thing too, didn't I? Hang on. A little late now. Oh, we're still pretty low. Never mind, I didn't turn it up. Pretty fair, I think.
good cluster over there. See, they're all getting forced to the outer ring, which is not exactly what we're wanting. Those guys all came, that's good. Three's not enough. I do not want to add another tower yet, but I think we may have to do all the quarters eventually. Good game, thank you. All right, that's enough. Let's uh, let's go back, see what we can do with these, and if we need to, we'll get a bunch more levels. I, I've talked about that before. You know. Clearly, this has a, about a 20 level efficiency and then just gets too slow. So, reward ourselves with a nice steak. Come up here. This box. Might as well do it now. It's an extra trip, but hey, I can drink some coffee on the way down the staircase. All right, be right back. Mmm. So I am curious, if anybody wants to leave a comment, I'd love to hear. Um, 
what have folks been doing, uh, you know, post-pandemic and all that for uh, for vacations? Have you guys gone anywhere? You pretty much stick around home, being safe, or uh, have you done the travel thing? This was uh, this was my first time flying since the the whole pandemic began, and uh, you know it's it's crazy. People are the variety of human beings, and their mentality is pretty amazing you know there's some people that are like super super paranoid and worried about things there are some people that you know get offended that you even ask them to be somewhat courteous and respectful of others and you know there's a lot of people that are in between they're like man i just wish this was done and you know i i don't get too extreme about any anything really um but I, hey, there we go. All right, so now we got a shovel. Um, having just gone and done that, let's just save our spare shovel. Uh, you know, if we get low on shovels, we can go back and do it. But we'll do that. Pick up that. And then let's just grab two of these. And now let's go. I'm just going to double check my time. I think I'm about 30 minutes in. Eh, 28 and a half, so pretty close. All right. Now we're uh, we're down. So anyway, yeah, you know, it's, I love flying, first of all. I, I think it's awesome. Um, I I'm kind of one of those people, you know, you can kind of tell from my, um, you know, I'm just sound of my voice and interest and all that. I, uh, oh, we need, uh, Quite as ready as I thought, because we do want this pick as well. And let's do that shovel. So we'll kind of head in this direction, which is a new one for me. And I am not ready for this at all, am I? So as I was saying, <laughs> we'll head in this direction. One, two, three, four... Five, six, one. Two, three, four, five. All right. Ooh, and should probably put that away too. So I guess we're gonna do a little caving. Caving's good. We haven't done much of that. Uh, secondary or however many amethyst nodes would be nice right about now. Obviously, more diamonds. Uh, I think we're moving away from mountains, so pretty bad chance of getting 
emeralds in this particular stretch. I'm assuming this is the cave, if you all remember, we cut uh, kind of over by where we made that little sugar cane farm and the tree farm. This is where we did some of our first caving and you know, had to get iron and all that stuff. And we did connect it to a pretty big cave system and did some exploring around in that area. I I'm guessing that's what we're connected to here. Well, like I said, caves are going to be good. We want all that coal. And we'll take the iron and everything else again. Iron in particular, we can, uh, you know, that can be a, a cheap beacon to get started, right? I almost did that. And, yeah, this is just kind of fun. You know, now we can get all the goodies. We don't have to worry about it. Just, when we fill up, throw down the shulker. I think when I do, though, I am going to make sure to s please put that, uh, that Enderman sword away. I'd forgotten to do that, among a million other things, of course. All right, was there anything else good back here? We had not really... Just a redstone. Get that when we get it, if we do. But we definitely want this coal... That is deep slate. I thought that was going to be tough lapis, and I didn't even know that existed. I was going to say, wow, new block type. But I guess they just dropped it in the middle. Um, I kind of like to keep a little bit of... This lava, just for light. more in there. Pretty good so far. Oops. Oops. Do ourselves a favor here while the run is short. Is that all we got? That's a bummer. Alright. Did we get gravel? I don't think so. We did get a dirt. We got some tough somewhere. Uh, this is the regular deep slate, and this is 
Oh, maybe we took it all. Oh, what's this? Why do we have that? In? Come on. This is where we were putting the cobble and then taking it upstairs. Uh, some of you. Some of you. Like I said, I, uh, definitely not, you know, not, not feeling like I don't know what's going on, but uh, a little bit rusty. Well, I can admit that. You know, when you are playing something every day, it's, uh, then you take a big break from it. It definitely feels different not, not having that around. All right, that's good. So, um, for our building plan, I have not gone back and watched the episode yet. Um, I think we're still a little ways off from that. I mean, we can we can just be working on structural stuff for an age before we have to do that. Um. But I want to at least attempt to get the seam pattern uh, that we've begun in one of our previous worlds. I think maybe it was Jingle Bell Rainbow. Um... And that, again, I, we kind of touched on it a little bit already. So it was a, a nice combination of smooth stone, which is cooked stone. So we'll take some of the stone that we have, throw that into ovens and get it cooked off. And um, is it polished deep slate? It was one of the... the uh, stone cutter versions of the cobble deep slate. <sighs> Rusty. Okay, but well, at least that all came out. So let's grab these. And that is probably something I want to do sooner rather than later, is get the ovens going so that they can be cooking while we're doing this, gathering stuff, right? Seems like a good idea. Decided to do this one. Kind of want to get out a little way from the base in just a narrow hallway. But this is sort of why we're out here. Stone, we're probably pretty close to what we need. in between. So what are we going to need for cookers? Um, obviously a bunch of furnaces, right? And I think just... 
feeder chest for the coal blocks. Those don't have to be too big. Um, because well, uh, we're never going to use more than a single chest of spare coal, right? That would cook for an age. So that uh, was predictable. that bad gravel. Who knows? Maybe it'll reveal something cool up there. Oh. Um, but then we want uh, potentially multiple chests. I don't think so, though. I think that's kind of a waste. This isn't like a storage system. It's just just to the efficiency of our cook and we can or you know how often are we not already looking and impatient for whatever we're cooking to get it out so i don't think we need to yeah look at this oh oh <laughs> i was all happy we found a new cave let me go over that way too looks like some water um So yeah, you know, pretty much bunches of furnaces with double row or double chest feeders for the ore, stone, or whatever we're cooking them in. Single chest off to the side for blocks of coal to feed. Um, and double chest below to take all of our finished product out. So... This is great. I don't think this will get us done, but what this should do is by the end of this episode, let us be kind of processing out our materials. way maybe we'll know as soon as the water starts rushing out at us Get another torch up there I love this pocket of deep slate I don't think we had anything this big in the basement trying to save that. Let's come back over here. And as we talked about, as I'm like 
mentally going back through the list trying to replay it. The other thing we're going to need to do is rerun the uh, tree farm a few times. And as we're doing that, I do want to kind of pretty up the area around the scaffolding. Just a bit, you know, something to... It just goes on, doesn't it? How's our inventory? Ooh, pretty full. Are we still... Nope, we're not picking up anymore. All right. So, let's do this. What? Why? Doggy. Cobble deep site. This one be random other stones, gravels, all that. We'll keep the the ore stuff out. Can I think by the time we fill fill those or finish this little node, we'll be ready for a trip back. What? All right, look. little area aside from the lava falling down everywhere oh my get I mentioned recently how little I enjoy gravel. <sighs> but that is one thing while we're back in here. Get that back up. So we're totally off mission, but 
a bit. <laughs> oh, I thought you were a skeleton behind. Yeah, this is a fun area. Who wants to go automating furnaces when we got all this to play with? Ooh. Ooh. really intend for him to blow up, but it was kind of funny when it did. Oh! I can't really see him coming. Alright, we're getting a bit out of control on our... Big old area. I think. Wow. I think one, the game is trying to kill me. I think it's had enough of our OP resource gathering. That's why everything has enchanted weapons. And we just got like double sword zombie. I don't want to get too lost. I kind of want to go back and get our Oh, come on. There's still more? that bit done. And just remember, you know, when 
when it gets to these kinds of points where the game is clearly uh, making up for uh, some of your advances, kind of balancing things out, which I love, huge fan of it. That's what keeps hardcore exciting when you have these moments. Um, okay, this is back to level. Let me do another water bucket here. Uh, you just have to be, you know, a little, little extra careful. That's why I was like, all right, let's get, get our stairs done, get back to where the room was we were working in, and then we can deal with this lava. Now, we don't know if that, oh, was that it? Awesome. All right. Got it. All right. Uh, we are up on our end here, so let's get just some of this stuff cleared out. And grab these two up. And head on back. So, any new viewers out there or, or folks that may have missed it, if you didn't catch it, um, I think it was the Jingle Bell Rainbow World where we got mobbed by zombies. And I didn't take it carefully enough and make sure that I had an exit mapped out. And, you know, that, that whole part where like four or five zombies were coming up, they had multiple swords and everything. That got us took a world. Uh, so, again, the, the answer is just play it a little conservative. Make sure you have your, your exit mapped out, but... Yeah, if you want to see what can happen on those, go check out the uh, the past episode on that. Uh, okay. Cobbled we don't need, but this one we can dump out. Ugh. Alright, you can cobble. Tough. Gravel. We got plenty of that this time. Look at all that. Shovel makes it go so fast. I would not have told you that we were into our fourth stack of... And then regular deep slate. Oh yeah, I guess we had emptied the boxes. Pick that up, please. Um, before we want to gather. All right. Let's pick those two up. We're going to run upstairs to finish so we can dump away all this extra stuff. Uh, that's another case we're having just another, you know, you can, all the blues are going to be what we're targeting. All the random colors can be just sortable junk, right? That you're going, if you're further out than we are here. Again, we had had spots for some of this kind of stuff, but this is why I do keep keep just the junk chest anyway. Dump them, then we have full stacks run downstairs at some point when you're going that way. Pretty easy. Uh, there we go. And I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I should start uh, 
making sure I don't sleep at the end of episodes for the end deal, but we don't have anything that needs repairing anyway. We've got plenty of time. So next episode, uh, which should be coming shortly, check back. Um, I think we're going to set up the stoves, um, keep grinding there, and then I don't we'll probably play in those caves a little bit, gather up all the coal and iron and all that good stuff, find out what mobs are out there. we got a whole ravine or underground gorge or whatever you want to call it going. Uh, so we'll have, fun, have some fun down there. We can move a lot more quickly now than we did at the beginning of the game. Have a bunch of fun and um, hopefully fill our pockets with a bunch of stuff there. And I mean, just just continuing on all the deep slate that's in that little node, uh, we should be getting, getting enough to make a good start anyway. So... We'll see. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to, you know, get to actual construction in today's play session for myself, but it would be good to get uh, most of our materials all done and ready to go. And then maybe uh, just have a one day uh, build and design and get everything going again. It's what I'm envisioning for this world is a much better bigger project than just the deep slate farm that we talked about in the past i can't wait to share that all with you guys so uh, get ready and stay tuned we'll uh we'll be back with a bunch more fun stuff to come so take care oh i, I gotta get back to the deal here's the deal and i didn't say thank you thank you thank you so much welcome back i uh appreciate you guys coming around hanging out and uh can't wait to see you for the next one uh so until then go ahead and take a break like i'm going to and let me tell you uh denver compared to dallas that that 95 degrees we may have here feels real good compared to dallas 90 90 is sticky down there anyway it was a wonderful trip anybody that might be in dallas you guys got a beautiful city love it it was a great time so take care and see you next time bye now